All right, so we're taking a recommendation from a viewer, Steven. Um, he wanted us to to do a video on Rayma Falls. And uh, well, that's what we're gonna do. Um, if you wanna head there, we're gonna tell you how to get there. Head uh, south from the village of Rayma, I guess that's south, towards uh, Grants. And you're gonna make a left turn onto Canyon Road. So we're about a half a mile outside of Rayma right now, but uh, we've got uh, something to check out before we actually get to the falls, and it's just off of this road. We're Fiona and Jerry from a couple of drifters.com. And we've been traveling long term for over three years on a budget of $15 each per day. Okay, so just about a quarter mile um, along Canyon Road from Highway 53. Uh, there's some ruins here. We're going to check it out. So about uh, two miles in, you're gonna see this little, I don't know, these little gates right here. You're, you're not going into somebody's property. This is just a subdivision called Timber Lake. And so just, just keep on going right through that. We turned off of New Mexico Highway 53 onto Canyon Road, and at some point this turns into Timberlake. It goes from Canyon Road to Timberlake Road, probably at that little uh, uh, that little gate that I showed you, which is kind of like a landmark. We're still on the same road, it just changes names. Okay, so here we are about six miles now from New, New Mexico Highway 53, where we turned on to Canyon Road, and we're going to come to this point. Um, uh, where there's a little bit of a fork in the road and you're going to take Forest Road 157. That's the right-hand fork. And I think we probably have about another mile or so to go. So uh, altogether, drive time was probably, I don't know, 10 or 15 minutes and just over six miles on this gravel road from New Mexico Highway 53. Okay, so uh, after about a, a quarter mile from that fork in the road, maybe about a half a mile, you're going to reach a little clearing where there's a um, barbed wire fence on either side. And uh, just beyond that is a right-hand turn for the falls. And that's right up here. So here's a landmark. This tree, uh, these two trees rather, with the tire, this is a good place to park if you don't have uh, four-wheel drive because otherwise you're going to have to uh, you're going to have to face that hill right there. But this is a good place to park, and from here, the falls are only uh, a six or seven-minute hike away. 
So within minutes of uh, where we had our truck parked, we're now on this little very tiny path. The name of the game here is just to keep walking along this trail. And there are little spots along the ledges where you can just kind of peek over and, and take a look. And If you can make out this big circular opening right there. It's almost like an arch right there. I'll have to go down and check that out. And we're not going to be able to make this out, but uh, I'm standing on an arch right now. And there's like a little opening under here, and the water would just continue on right down there. Very impressive. All right, so when the falls are actually going, uh, this, is, this has to be one of the most impressive features of the falls right here. But uh, water, would, water would spill down to this opening right here and to this much larger opening right here. Try to get this all in. Um, yeah, I mean this is quite a dramatic feature right here. Um, you know, it's almost like this little rock shelter. And uh, there's an arch right here, you know, between these, between these two openings right here. So you just use your imagination. Water coming through there. And uh, we're in the dry season, so um, there's just a, a remnant of a puddle from probably earlier this winter from the snow melt, and that's it. So we knew the falls weren't going to be running um, just because it's been so dry around here. This this has been a, an extremely dry winter, but not having uh, water running through there right now kind of gave us a good chance to uh, explore a little bit more, I think, and scramble around the rocks. Um, so no pun intended, it wasn't a washout. Uh, we hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, we hope someday if you're in the area, you decide to check out Rama Falls yourself. And uh, if you like the video, please uh, subscribe and uh, comment for us too. Let us know if you've ever been out to Rama Falls.